Hello everyone, I'm Digi Van here. So let's take a look at this question. Mrs. Key had oh, to make some pillowcases to be delivered by a certain date. If she made an average of 20 pillowcases a day, she would be late by 7 days. If she made an average of 25 pillowcases a day, she would finish 5 days earlier. So how many pillowcases did Mrs. Key have to make? So understand that in both scenarios, she had to make the same number of pillowcases. What is different is the number of days that she took to work in both scenarios, in both of these different scenarios here. So do I know what is the difference in the number of days between these two scenarios? Can we find it? So remember that she was given a fixed date. Okay, let's draw it, this part here, to represent the fixed date, the certain date that she was given, the fixed day, all right? And we know that in scenario one, she will be late by five, seven days. So we have to represent that longer, and that we specify it as seven here. Am I right? So this is what we call scenario one. And then in scenario two, we are told that she would finish five days earlier. So with that, do you see that now the comparison between scenario, uh, scenario one and scenario two is much easier. Okay, we know that the difference in the number of days between these two scenarios is 5 plus 7, which is 12. So it means to say that she took 12 more days in scenario 1 than scenario 2. So how many cases, pillowcases did she make during those period or during those days? Right, so 12 days, 12 times 20 in scenario 1. That is 240. Okay, so remember that this two, um, 240 extra pillowcases were well, in fact not extra, <laughs> okay, because she made the same number of pillowcases. But how then she was able to complete making so many or the same number so fast in scenario 2? Because she was faster. In scenario two, how many more did she make every day? She made a total of, uh, uh, she made five more. So she, as we can see from the question that she made five more pillowcases in scenario two than in scenario one. And that's how she was able to complete it much faster, even though they, oh, she had to make the same number of pillowcases in both the scenarios. So the 240 pillowcases, remember that, had already been done. Okay, in scenario 2. Because she was, or she made 5 pillowcases more each day. So how many days did it take? Okay. To close the gap of 240. So we can take 240, divide by 5, because 5 means per day. So how many days does she need to make up for this 240? And that is 48 days. So it means that she took 48 days in scenario 2. Okay, so with that, to find the number of pillowcases that she made, 48 times 25, which is 1,200. So this, I now know that it is 48. So I could do a check as well. So in scenario 1, she took 48 plus 12, which is 60 days. So this is my check here. So 60 days times 20, you see that I get the same answer as 1,000. 200. So a very simple concept, you do not need to use any algebra when you know how to reason it out. Thank you for watching, 
like and share this video and i hope to see you around goodbye